Hi, I'm Chuck Yamick here for Private Reserve Guitars. I'm getting to play one of the retro series guitars from Martin. This is the D45E Retro. Uh, this is an amazing series of instruments in my opinion. Uh, basically it started with an idea from Chris Martin wanting to take some of the highly sought after and coveted Martin Guitar Museum pieces that are actually in the museum and figure out a way to record them and be able to use those sounds and get those sounds to players. And the first uh, place that they approached was Fishman, obviously, because of their awesome electronic technology that they use in the Fishman F1 or a Plus. And once Fishman jumped on board, then the next step was going down to Nashville, Tennessee with Bill Vorn Dick, who's a Grammy-winning producer. And he's got one of the world's most amazing collection of priceless, rare vintage microphones. And he's also known and won several Grammys for his recording of acoustic instruments. So the next step to that is basically what they did is they took and captured a microphone image uh, of the guitar using nine different vintage microphones. They gave all that to Fishman who used their um, Fishman modification software and it applied a bunch of mathematical alg algorithms and all that kind of crazy technical stuff. But I like to say just put their magic on it to just make these guitars really sing. And what it does basically is it forced the amplified sound uh, to be replicated and the body's resonance uh, to behave tonally like the actual donor or museum guitar. So you're getting the sounds of what those original instruments sounded like. And I'm just going to play one more thing here just with my fingers to give you a chance to listen to some stuff acoustically and then we'll go into the electronics and let you check that out. So that kind of gives you a little taste. We used something with a pick and we did something with the fingers. So let's dig in now to the electronics. What I'm going to show you is the quick start mode. Basically that's just plugging your guitar in and then you've got four presets that you can use. The first three will actually be uh, mic images of the museum instrument and then the fourth one will be the bridge pickup. So I'm just going to play the same lick uh, four times so you'll get a chance to kind of hear what this guitar sounds like with these different microphones and then the actual pickup. Now keep in mind when you're listening to this you're not really hearing the guitar change tone but what you're hearing is the coloration of the different microphones. So a pretty amazing uh, process. Mic number two. Mic number three. And the pickup. But again, this is a great guitar for a player that may be in a live situation where they can't actually mic the guitar and get a great sound out of it. So you get some great sounds with this. Uh, one thing I want to show you real quick on this before we uh, move on, but here you can see where the cable plugs in the guitar, but this is Martin's, what I call just cutting edge, really thinking the process through. They put the end pin strap button closer to the top of the guitar. Mo normally people put it in the center. What was the reason for that? It's when you're standing and you're playing on stage, it'll help keep the guitar in closer to your body. And to me, you know, that is another one of the many reasons why I play Martin guitars, just because they think everything through. It's all about the details. 
Anyway, thanks for listening, and I will see you guys soon.